Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of the Lord Jesus be always with you. And with your spirit. As we come to celebrate another Sunday in ordinary time, once again, we call to mind and reflect upon God's gift of forgiveness and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days, set enmity aside, remember death and decay, and cease from sin. Think of the commandments. Hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant and overlook faults. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe me. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But the first servant refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, you wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had the same amount of pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother with your whole heart. The Gospel of the Lord.
remember as a child growing up hearing this gospel passage and my parents would take every opportunity to to quote this scripture especially when my sisters and I were arguing we'd be put in our separate corners and then mom or dad would say remember Jesus said always forgive and I thought at the time this has got to be the most challenging practice out there how come how come we who follow Jesus are called to this higher standard well it's simply because of what he did for us what he continues to do for us over and over again his love his forgiveness is always there just this afternoon we had a young girl in fifth grade or so who had never made her first reconciliation and now she's preparing to receive communion so we had a nice conversation here in the church it was very very quiet very dignified and over and over again I remind the, the students who make their confessions that God never stops loving us no matter what we do it's a message we often need to hear as adults especially watching the news at night it's easy to get angry it's easy to get bored and wonder what's going to happen in the future. So we all need this message that God's love and God's mercy is stronger than all of our sins and faults. In that grace, let's continue our prayer. together with confidence let's lift up our prayers and our intentions for this day for the church may the lord bless her and keep her safe from all evil we pray to the lord lord, lord hear our prayer for harmony and justice in our nation and across the world may the prince of peace dwell in the hearts of all we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all who are holding on to past hurts and grievances. May the Lord give them the grace to forgive. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this family of faith, may the Lord fill us with love and truth and guide us in the ways of wisdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, and for all those who care for them and love them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they know the loving embrace of our merciful Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who have asked us to pray for them, and for the special intentions known between ourselves and our loving God, who always hears and answers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, hear the prayers of the family you've gathered here before you. And in mercy and love, sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We pray in his name who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Let us pray, friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In the Lord Jesus. Look with favor on our offerings, O Lord, and in your kindness accept them. Accept our offerings that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. For by the word of your son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation. And having filled her with life by the power of your spirit, you never cease through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright as the sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus you promised would last forever. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the church as one voice we acclaim. indeed holy and to be glorified O God who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life blessed indeed is your son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread therefore father most merciful we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit, to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection. Give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, St. Anselm, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us pray with confidence the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
first day, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. On you stay.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you to everybody for being here and for your offerings in our stewardship collection. Thanks to your generosity and the m many ways you volunteer around here. We're able to keep the doors open and the lights on. So thank you for your generosity and your continued support. Please check out our parish website to stay up to date with the current regulations about celebrating Mass. And we currently have 120 chairs set up here in the church. So that's, that's a pretty good number. And we're able to stay pretty safe with that. And I especially want to thank everybody that volunteers to help clean and sanitize the, the church after each Mass. So thank you very much. And especially a word of thanks to everybody that, that is joining us through Facebook. Have a great week, and may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go forth in the fullness of God's mercy. Thanks be to God. Thank you.